Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can um, develop a, a table control stuff in module pool and add new fields. So this is very, it's a little bit tricky because if you have worked with module pool, module pool is something where you do the screen oriented uh, programming, though it's people say we don't need to do much, but still it's there and with Fiori, you might have to do more. So let me tell you what I'm talking about. So if I go to this screen, this is a custom screen that I have developed. And here, if you notice, this is Fiori zoom in and off. So this is, so they have a specific stuff that is switched on. So let me show you, if I click on this, and if I do an F1 on it, this shows, uh, shows here in the short text something. And here, I'll make this this, this is fine. And if I click on F1, here it shows in Fiori mode, you know, the controls such as table control and it's maximum horizontal automatically at runtime. So when it's Fiori, you will have this automatically designed. Okay. That's, that's one idea that they have given to make life easier for what the model. Okay, so let's now So how you code it, okay? So first thing is you go here in the layout, okay? And I'll just show the screen design. So this is a table control that I have designed, okay? Now how we can add a new field? So first thing you have to go is in change mode, okay? So I'm in change mode, but in this way, in no way we can add new fields. See, this is cut copy, doesn't work. The only way you can do is go to secondary And here you can see, I'll just put, suppose, instead of net PR, put man, okay, material number. And if I click on material number, and I select this, and I'll select it from dictionary. And now I'll select this, and I go here. Okay. So let me see here. change I mean change what right so it just selects I need to select this sorry I didn't select this so again let's let's do one thing so we will put suppose from scratch so let me put in EKPO what more we can see at the one just make sure I will mess it up I select this one select this one and here you can see how many the number of things click the screen up and this shows and then you see all these things show up. And now you can see network alignment will come here. So in this way, you can add this and you can click on activate. The moment you activate, it actually comes here for that activation. So here, what you have to do is you select this green arrow, okay? And this is the graphical printer. And you go here, go here, and click on the control logic. new fields in the table. So that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like, share and subscribe to it and have a great day.